Radiation cystitis is a form of delayed soft tissue radiation injury that you see in patients who have had radiation therapy for some form of malignancy in the pelvis. Usually shows up as hematuria, dysuria, problems voiding. It's an ongoing problem that begins typically a year or two, perhaps even longer after radiation therapy. And it's something that is poorly understood and difficult to treat. The underlying problem in soft tissue radiation injury is a combination of ischemia because of destruction of, of the local vasculature, uh, fibrosis caused by radiation effect on collagen, and loss of stem cells that removes the body's ability to correct the problems that I previously described. Hyperbaric oxygen is a specific treatment for these three problems. It recruits new stem cells into the radiated field. It converts dense fibrous tissue back into softer collagen. And interestingly enough, because it increases the oxygen pressure differential, it's a powerful force for neovascularization reducing the uh, effects of ischemia by uh, re-establishing a blood supply to the radiated field. The uh, response rate to hyperbaric oxygen therapy for radiation cystitis is over 80 percent, which is fairly impressive and the results are durable with the majority of patients uh, not uh, having recurrent symptoms down the road. So if you have a patient who is uh, then diagnosed with radiation cystitis, you might consider referral to your local wound care center for hyperbaric oxygen therapy.